from a prototype or an R&D demonstration at the university, for instance, mm -hmm. to make it into a commercial product, that's a major step. That's not like, oh yeah, let's invest some money and some, <laughs> some time. Uh, it's, it's, it's really like a, a lot. It's, it's also, you, you don't, probably you don't get it right the first time or like with the first step. So it might need some steps yeah. um, if you have not done this before. I would have told you like five years ago that I'm this kind of person that for those kind of things, mm -hmm. more strategic, more, you know, like well, like well-rounded, well thought through. I need time. I, I block entire day. I don't want to get bothered. Yeah. Um, but now I'm actually built very much the other way. So I do put it in my calendar and it's on the list, you know, this week I, I want to do this, but I do it like throughout the day. So it will be interrupted maybe four or five times by people stopping by, but maybe also just meetings in between. It also comes back to the point that if you look into the US versus Europe, we have a very, we are a strong manufacturing powerhouse. But if we see like the venture capital investments flowing into startups, like Europe is almost not on the, on the map.